Localization in practice would be when national institutions have been empowered enough both by their own government and by the donor and the private sector for them to be able to respond to national and local emergencies as and when they occur. Also means that they have independence financially uh, and, and decision making of their responses to the most vulnerable in their countries. If the local organization or local government uh, enable or have the capacity to respond to any crisis and if they uh, got a outside help and the uh, assistant will in line with the local, so the local have the ownership. And it could be done if there is an equal uh, partnership, then the capacity of the local uh, government and also uh, strengthening the uh, individual and institutional capacity. Um, localization is reaching those who are most in need very quickly by local organizations who are closest to them who know them best and who know their needs. In UN Women, we support women's organizations who are usually under leverage and who have very close and intimate knowledge of the community's needs. We support them to, um, to reach those who are in need, but also we leverage their leadership in promoting their community resilience. And we will continue to do so and we will increase that support. So uh, localization, like all the other objectives and uh, targets that come out of the World Humanitarian Summit, are about increasing efficiency and effectiveness of humanitarian aid. So uh, in an ideal situation, when there is a crisis, then the, the actor most suited to provide the aid should be the one providing the aid. In a lot of situations, it's the local actor. In a lot of situations, the local actors know best who's in need and what exactly um, they need. So the objective is to uh, to make to um, make better use of the knowledge and the expertise and the capacity of the local actors in any situation. From the European Commission's perspective, we have been uh, uh, promoting the um, localization agenda for some time. We are already uh, doing um, some pilot studies in how this localization could be further implemented in the future. We're working with our partners on how actually to make that capacity, that, that local know-how, um, how to integrate it into the whole humanitarian process and analysis in order to be able collectively, because the collectively is the, is the word that's important, collectively to de deliver more efficient and effective humanitarian aid? Uh, for me, uh, meaningful uh, implementation of localization means the local uh, organizations who are the first responders, they'll be at the forefront of humanitarian responses, uh, which will make a humanitarian response quicker, which will save more lives. Uh, more cost efficient because it's not internationally uh, uh, led. Uh, in order to do that, in India, uh, we are working on three pillars. And the first pillar is developing a <clears throat> national platform which consists of Indian grassroots organizations that give us advantage to trigger a response in no time uh, or uh, a very short span of time. That's number one. Number two, we are working on a pool fund which will provide leverage to our platform uh, to trigger a response. And number three, is uh, a national rooster which will provide search capacity to our member organizations because smaller organizations often don't have comprehensive response capacity and uh, since they don't have that and they don't need to maintain that all the time they lose out uh, to uh, big organizations who have uh, comprehensive response capacity so in order to uh, uh, bridge that gap we are working on uh, search capacity through uh, national rooster the example is the simple example just to allow local organization to work themselves to get some means to respond immediately without the intervention of international organizations and they intervene in small time short time and the impact is very big than to use much money i think localization means also uh, direct funding of local NGOs and local actors on the ground. Uh, for that to happen, uh, the donors should open, let's say, legal ways for local organizations to, to apply for that funding. And when we talk about local capacity building, this again 
is very much linked with the funding itself because uh, the local organizations can do their own capacity building if they are uh, allowed allowed to if they are allowed to do so uh, by direct funding again.